Hola, ladies and gentlemen. This video will be talking about a little bit more about slicing strings and indexes. Not slicing indexes. Like we're not slicing strings and indexes. We're slicing strings and learning about indexes. I'm glad glad I made that clear. Anyways, first thing we're gonna do is just create a variable. Lemonade. I've done all this on the last video, but I mean we'll just start fresh for this one. So for understanding indexes, before we do anything in this video, we have to understand that this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, in the last video I talked about how we could like slice and get like M-O-N or N-A-D or O-N-A-D-E. That's called string slicing. Well, this video I want to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to be teaching you how you can return every other letter or every third letter or every fourth letter or you can return every you can return it in reverse order or every other letter in reverse order and a bunch of other cool things so that's what we're going to do in this video so first thing we can do is we can print yo or you can try to print yo I can't really type it well and then what we can do is we can print indexes of yo so we like print index 4 and it prints n because this is index 4 right here and what we can also do is we can print ranges. So we can go print index 3 to index 5. And it prints on. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it prints 0 to 5. So O, N. Now, what when you do this, there's actually a third number. But because we don't give it, it anything, it defaults to 1. So what we can also do with this is we can put a second colon after the 5 and a number after this colon. And like I said, if, if we don't put it, if we don't put anything, it defaults to 1. It stays the same. That's what Python assumes you want it as. Well, what this third, thir this third number does is it tells like if we want to take every other letter or every third letter or every fourth letter and so forth. So 1 is just going to return every letter. Okay, let's get a bigger range here. Let's go. Uh, let's go from index one to index six, and it's going to print every letter. Emona. Now, what if we put a two? If we put a two, it's going to take every second letter. So it goes. Looking at this page over here on the paint, it goes. Uh, it takes. This one, it skips M and takes this one, and then it skips N and it takes this one. So we just get the vowels, E, O, A. Now, uh, what if we want to go every third letter? So we start at E, skip two letters, get N, and then end the string because we stop at index 6. Let's try it. Well, what we do is we replace this 2 with a 3. And we get E N. So basically we start at E, skip two, go every three letters, so one, two, three, one, two, and then the string is over. If we had a longer string, it would it would make more it'd be more clear because it would take it would go on forever. But basically one, two, three, one, two. It takes every third letter, so it skips two. And we can also do the same thing with a four. And now we got E, skip three, one, two, three, A. So I hope that's clear. Now there's another thing we can do. I'll show you. Here, let's get rid of these two numbers. What we can do is we can use negative numbers in the third after the second colon. For the third number, we can use negative numbers. And that's going to print things in reverse order. So now we got adenomal. I don't know. So if you want to flip words and figure out what they are, you can use that. So let's try, let's try, uh, let's go epic and we'll assign it the value race car. All right. Now what we can do is we can print race car. We can go So this is, we'll print race car in reverse order. Wow! It looks exactly the same! 
Well, that's because race car backwards is race car. That's how that kind of works. So if that's, I know a lot of people try to like figure out what words say backwards. Well, this is how you can do it. Get up, get up Python and, you know, reverse some strings and whatnot. Now, what we can also do, let's go back to Yo. We'll bring Yo back down here. What we can also do is we can take just a part of the string. Now, there's one important thing to remember, and it's actually a little complex, so I'm going to actually push that to the next video just so we can stop here and make this one individual video over one topic. So hopefully all of this was useful, and I will see you all in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching.